as my wife would say, we're not here for a good time. We're here for a great time because that's the saying. All right, we're going to one shot the cursed. Come here. Yeah. Fair and balanced. Hey, everyone. Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're messing around with a Fireball Maris build that my buddy Fluffy Juju, friend of the channel, showed me about on Discord yesterday, and it is absolutely stupid. I don't know if we're going to get very far. I was just testing this out. I'm just going to take charge here just to have something. I don't really... This doesn't benefit the build at all. Basically, what's happening is every time we have Fireball up, we send out a massive nuke that clears the screen. I am rocking Darkness 100 right now, so I'm a little skeptical. We also like don't have any dice because I went completely balls deep on the... Uh, gear for this one but we did <laughs> we did rip god of war and master crushing attack so that's pretty good i think i'm just gonna take time field because i'm fine with that also our cast damage should be pretty good yeah we have 200 percent, but that's because of this talent that says we get 20 percent of our cast damage and we have 2000 percent attack damage so yeah Basically what Fireball does, I, I've never made a Fireball build on this channel. I don't think it's very good. I don't really love the playstyle. However, in the current beta patch, because of the values you get your attack to, it does a lot. So it raises your base attack damage, which is something basically no talents do. Which scales really well with all these passive attack damage bonuses. Like this lets you get more damage bonuses. I don't even know if this is the proper setup. This is just my first attempt at this. Um, attack damage, attack damage, dice, XP stuff, the normal. And then for gear, I'm using the staff, which is actually just perfect for this build. It's a slow it's a slow staff with a ton of damage, which is exactly what you want. Because you're not attacking fast, you have to attack slow. And then I'm just like super deep on attack damage. We have a 100% attack damage helmet. Uh, we have a 128% damage relic with effects range, which is a new stat that affects like AoE. It should affect fire ball but i'm not actually sure if it is more attack area more attack damage more attack damage even using sand ghouls for attack damage the only problem i see here is that we don't have life on kill on anything so i'm probably gonna end up just dying here but i feel like i wanted to record this anyway because it'd be really funny um at the very least it's gonna make for a decent clip also um slightly <laughs> slightly impressive discharge I haven't used it before, it's quite strong. 60% of your attack damage every time we dash. Uh, which, when your attack damage is so high, well, this charge becomes very powerful. I think, I think the people in the Discord, like, as a community, we've known this. However, we haven't really used it outside of that. Um, I'm just gonna take Alteration Ritual. There is, Again, the upside of alteration, alteration Ritual, a single point of it, is so insanely high in this game. That it's basically, if you're using time, there's no reason you should ever not take it. Almost no reason. If you're out of power slots, maybe don't take it. But otherwise, you take it so that you can potentially hit stuff like Pandemonium. You could get some full heals from Vampirism or Inner Peace. This is terrible maybe we reroll and try to get curiosity like we trade a dice here for more dice oh no oh oh well that that didn't really work out it's fine okay the other problem with this build is you actually have to aim however we one shot everything so as i was saying fluffy's the one who showed me this who was like messing around with it he one-shot the curse last night. And I think he also one-shot the insect queen. All right, we want crushing attack. Every level in our attack talent is going to give us... How much is it? 15% extra damage. But then that's increased by this, so like 16% more of that. So it's just like a lot. Plus the part that it already buffs. So that's pretty nice. Do we want any other powers... We don't want a rock shield. Um, Brom doesn't really have anything of note. I guess we could just take force. It's fine. So we do have discharge as a good get off me button. Which we can use while fireballs down. 
And I'm pretty sure you can get all of them to hit. Did we... Did we drop a meteor there? What just happened? Where, where are the meteors coming from? What did I... What did I do? What have I done? Knockback effect? Wait, does fireball have a knockback effect? This doesn't have a knockback. Oh, we have meteors from... From alteration <laughs> ritual, obviously. I think I'll just take knockback, master. I don't know. We do... Oh, we do have... Uh, obviously blades, so... I mean, I say obviously, but... I had forgotten about it already, so... But that's just my brain being my brain as it is. Oh, goodbye, Necromancer. Sorry. Yeah, this is super satisfying, I will say. Standing. The only way... Oh, and we get Mountainous Might with this build. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Take more crushing attack first, though. So the only way this really, like, works is if you are one-shotting enemies, right? Because... Obviously, it has a problem. We also have another problem we're going to have to deal with later. Uh, we will, because we're playing a Darkness 100 on Act 2, we're very likely going to die to the, like, insect mages are the bombers because there's so many enemies moving in so many different directions. Unless we get our attack area, like, to be actual full screen it won't be enough. Now, we do kind of clear a path, so that's good. Problem is, enemies just kind of keep coming. And as far as I know, there is no way to reduce the cooldown of Fireball so that it channels faster. Which, admittedly, with how much it's doing right now, seems like it would be a wee bit overpowered. Oh. Oh, 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 golems, get out of my get out of my game. Okay, this this is fun though. I I I yeah, this is a different way to play. Oh, there's some there's a big heart over there. I am a huge fan as always of time field. I guess also you get to a rhythm here. I'm knowing if you like frame perfect the fireball, you're going to be in a much better spot than if you are letting it sit, right? Because you're gonna maximize your XP by killing enemies. So there's that too. All right, come here, cat. <laughs> I wonder. Hmm. Yo, that's ridiculous. It's just very silly. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be this way. I do need some healing shrines. Desperately. For this to continue, though, because we will not get very far otherwise. But I would say that this is a build that you could rock on a lower difficulty to great enjoyment. If you want to have a fun time. And you don't need to use, like, god tier gear. Like, I'm using... I would say that staff that we have is it's not best possible but it's certainly getting close like the slow attack speed base plus the high damage plus the area if you could take the attack speed off of it and turn or no this one doesn't have it i have another one that has attack speed if you could well i think it can crit right i think the fireball can still crit so if the fireball could crit then Uh, let me rephrase that. If the fireball counts as an attack and benefits from that 10% crit, then it's all upside. Are you serious? A haunted tree here? Okay, guys. Well, let me tell you the extremely, extremely rare other situation where you wouldn't take a power if you want this extra life regen. I'll take... I'll take the Divine Shield every minute. It's pretty good. Like, I've been given worse things from a shrine. That is... I'll be straight up. I think that's the shrine I've seen least in the game. Of literally every shrine, including, including like, the... 
the staff, the freaking genie. But we saw the genie in the last video. Not the genie, but the the other thing. The well, he is a genie, isn't he? I guess. Whatever. Um, and then there's the other one. The hmm. I can't remember what it is. Oh, the Grand Cobra, the King Cobra one. Yeah, that thing. I guess we could also just spam attack. We probably do enough damage. Oh, we're also just one-shotting things. We don't really actually have to use Fireball. Our, our basics one-shot? But our basics are also like insanely slow. And they don't have the big AoE, so it's probably worse using it. Blades is pretty good. Like, real talk. All up. I kind of like getting haul up, though. Being able to, like, just have a get back that's a good range is really nice. I'm gonna build, like, oh, line them up. Line them up. Let's go bowling. And we rolled into Chains of War, which is completely useless, but it's all right. All right, this is going way better than I thought it would. Oh, and we get some armor and HP. Oh, wait. Okay, the smart thing to do would be to take armor and max life. But we're not here for the smart thing. We're here for the fun thing. As my wife would say, we're not here for a good time. We're here for a great time because that's the saying. All right, we're going to one shot the curse. Okay. Yeah. Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. Bosses are not the issue here. I've also learned how much HP the Jin has, and I don't know if it's possible to actually one tap him with this build. Unless we get a bunch of first strike. We also need a bunch of damage to undamaged targets. That's one thing that's missing uh, from my gear setup. With Maris for this to work. Or to, to one shot the gin anyway. I guess it's somewhat public knowledge. And if it's he doesn't like it being out, he can adjust it. Uh, Word of mouth has it that it's a little under 2 million HP, at least on the beta branch. So, you know, if we can hit for about 2 million, we can one tap the gin. All right, so Hall has bigger range. We got, <laughs> we got Sickles, the best strike. What do you guys in the comments think is the best three strikes? This was asked in the in the Death Must Die community Discord. Um, for you guys who aren't over there, I'm curious what you guys think uh, in like the whole game because the results from that, not to not to shit on anybody, of course, because they weren't super far off in the results, but um, they were wrong, <laughs> like objectively wrong, not like my opinion wrong. Uh, only on like two. They got obviously the first. The first one right is that Sickles is in fact the best one. But there's some overlooked stuff, and some people seem to think that Soul Stealers is still viable. And is Soul Stealers like really good on Darkness Zero or something? Am I am I missing something? Because like Soul Stealers used to in like Act One, Soul Stealers was godlike, right? But um, it has not been that way since Act One. Uh, goodbye, cat. It's <laughs> absurd. So I'm just curious, like, is it is it a uh, is it just people putting their favorite ones, not their best ones? Uh, let's do hall. Let's, let's max out hall, and then we'll find some oats. I'm not really big on hauling oats, to be honest. That's not really not really my jam. Maybe I'm a little too young for that. Maybe it's just that music style is not it for me as well. Is this 
Dash recharge versus cooldown. I think it's just dash recharge speed. How many cats can you catch in one fireball? I mean, I am a cat uh, person. I guess a cat lover, but out of context, that sounds like kind of messed up. But as a cat person, I really... Really having to separate the game from life here by sending them to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> oh, goodbye, golems. Okay, this might be the most satisfying build for getting rid of the golems. I think I want Mountainous Might right now. I don't think we need more damage. I think we need more area. I've also noticed in the beta branch, oh, that was a 200k, that's pretty good. I've also noticed in the beta branch that uh, mythics seem to drop much more often the later on in a run. We go for an extra dice here. I think what we're actually supposed to do is banish Gemini. Reroll and reroll and just try and hit first strike because it's so powerful. Well, we missed. Well, fortune's important because we need heals. It is undoubtedly one of the most important things we could get. Wait, Discharge is actually doing like 30k, so that's kind of stupid. All right, where are the insects at? Can I line them all up? That would be insane. I think I missed. Fuck. Oh, got him that time. <laughs> got him that time. Time field me? Hey. Hey, into the time field. Come on. Goodbye. You are the weakest insect. Goodbye. Is it weird that we all just like enjoyed a bunch of reality TV shows because they're just like making fun of people? Is that bad for like humanity as a whole? That that's what was popular for so long. That the catchphrase of the show was you are the weakest link. Goodbye. And all the shows around that time. I'm going to keep taking crushing attack. It's just more damage. You rolled into chain lightning. That is not effective here. I think just XP per second is probably what we want. More levels means more attack levels. And more attack levels are, you know, effectively infinite for us since it goes up to 30. We're not going to pass 30. We're probably not going to pass 20, realistically. So it makes a lot more sense trying to just get more levels than worrying about the quality so much. Oh, this is going to hit pretty hard. Yeah, I think fireball aside also, there seems to be a really strong attack cast hybrid Maris build right now. Also, um, something else I should probably mention that's maybe a little bit relevant to this. Projectiles are currently bugged in the beta. Or seem to be. Our projectile pierce, I believe it is. So that they're double procking strikes and whatnot. I believe they're counting as multiple hits, is what I should say. So, like, if you were to be playing Lorien, right, and your thing would pierce something. It still pierces, but it's counting as two hits for the purposes of, let's say, Breath of Fire for getting to three hits. So you would only need another half an attack, which obviously that's not a thing. But if it wasn't a thing, oh. goodbye, Jackals. Oh, Quake is actually like kind of insane here. It kind of covers the weird AOE problem. Oh my god, we took so much damage. This is why we were supposed to take HP and life earlier. 
because just like not having a lot of armor is bad for your chances of winning. I'm gonna alterate. I think I'm just gonna take landslide. Landslide is just casually hitting for 7k. I don't need extra points into it. It's already, it, it was a master version. Like everything, everything about that was upside for me. There are some shrines that can make this go absolutely bananas. Like if you were to hit the AOE, the, the AOE duration trade shrine, you could drop your duration. Oh, I missed her. And we one shot the insect queen. <laughs> Look, you still have to aim with this. If you miss your fireballs, this is dangerous. I guess we'll take our attacks, have a chance to apply poison. Uh, that seems like really pointless. I guess I should have put it on my dash, right? That would have made sense. It doesn't matter. That's so irrelevant. It's funny because this is very similar to the build that we did yesterday with front just in a different completely different playstyle where we're just doing a massive amount of damage uh, except we're doing it from range but we're much much squishier do we take charge i just don't think we do i think i think actually The question right now I have is landslide. I think we're just gonna go crushing attack. For the purposes of winning, I would say that taking crush, like taking landslide there is the best option for increasing your chances to win. Like your win percentage goes up the most from that. For the purposes of silliness, more attack damage. <laughs> I also, I would say it's not like a significantly large difference. Landslide is just a better like defensive tool. But another good defensive tool is just killing enemies before they can hit you. I think Rom's dash has actually been one of the better choices I made during this run. And having the extra range on that means we have one, plus the master knockback, we're able to just like have enemies just really just, just tell them the fuck right off <laughs> at just the right time. So we don't have to worry so much about being swarmed. Now, this is the part that I was kind of worried about. I'm kind of still worried about. I do have to be precise with my stuff here. So far, so good. We'll take, we're gonna upgrade charge because again, it increases the area. It's so funny because on live, they're so much faster. So you have to dodge in a different way. But on this, if you dodge like you're dodging on the, the live branch like you were before, you'll actually get hit, which I don't know if that was intentional when they rebalance them, but that's how it works. Or at least that's how it was for me. Okay. Should I have just saved that for the gin? Uh, looking at these numbers, we're not gonna, we weren't gonna one tap them anyway. We'd have to have first strike. Without first strike, it doesn't work. And then even then, I, I don't think the math's mathing up to one tap him. Oh my gosh. Not the worst to have it here either. Hey, you're alive. I don't know. I don't know how he survived that. All right, we'll take force. Sure. 
I guess alteration ritual, there's an argument to be made taking it could potentially mess up your first strike situation. So maybe it's not actually a absolute must have. Gotta be tough. I'll take crushing attack, please. This is going far better than I expected, by the way. I legit thought we were going to be dead at like 12 minutes or something like that. Instead, we are casually just dumpstering the hardest difficulty currently in the game. He says right before he dies. So elegantly. How, ni how nice for my hands to show up here. I'm going to take fortune, actually. Some pickup drops are more likely right now. I need the HP regen. It would have been nice for them to actually drop there, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, this is the hardest moment of the run. For sure. Okay. Okay, healing. No, the fireball didn't go off. Time field. Good, good. There's another one out here. Oh, no. Okay, more healing. Good. Good. I need a heal shrine. That's a damage shrine. I'm gonna lock that in just to have, like, uh, cause we're, we're on the move for heals right now. It also means that our dash does a lot of damage. Cause remember, we still have discharge, so that's like, Saying we have Discharge sounds really weird, just out of context. You know what? Maybe we're just sitting here. I think we're just chilling at this damage shrine to beat the gin. Because now we have these guys to deal with. Oh, maybe we don't have these guys to deal with. Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> maybe they're all dead. Give me more damage. That was 400k. Another time field? Sure. Trying to get hit. Well, these are not great. I guess stillness does make... Oh, no. Let's say, I guess stillness technically makes... Uh, <laughs> makes the thing last longer. Time field. Living on the edge right now. Oh, oh what, what hit us there? Okay, uh, Warpact? Oh, man, we've missed out on Warpact? I just realized. That's that's kind of a shame. Shrine of Power. I'm gonna... Well, I think we have enough time now. I don't think we need to really wait anymore. Alright, where is he gonna be? We did a quarter. If he starts flamethrowing us, we're in trouble. Oh, he's fucking dead. Get wrecked, Mirage Ring. Oh, that's the that's the joke unique. Well, if you haven't seen it, we now have it. Turn that away. Turn that away. All these non-epic items get out of my game. I will show off the Mirage Ring after we get past the screen. Well, Darkness 100 cleared with Fireball Maris. That was not what was expected. Look at the damage screen. A little bit misleading here, I would say, as all the damage was from Fireball, not Crushing Attack. So this screen is basically relevant, I would say. Let's move on to the next. That was extremely satisfying. I should have looked at my stats at the very end. Kind of a goof. But we like, what, four shot the Jin? That's not bad. And then the Mirage Ring, which is this. We have a 10,000% better chance for rare items. Which, I don't even know if this works, and if it does work, it's only for rare items, so who cares? But, like, it exists, so that's cool. But anyways, that's Fireball Maris. If you want to try it out yourself, this clearly works. I don't know... I think Discharge is really important for the build. You definitely want three points in Fireball. You have to have one point in Channel. I don't know if... 
I don't. Okay, here's one thing I don't know. If you have channel maxed out, does it trigger right before fireball goes off? Like, how long does channel take before it locks in? If you know, post it in the comments. Um, outside of that, there's really not much to be messed around with. You maybe try and get some more speed over here if you want it versus this, but I think this is more important because uh, you're going to be killing enemies from far away. But yeah, that's a hell of a build. Anyways, I'm going to be able to look through my loot and see if we got anything good. If we did, you'll probably see it in uh, a video in a day or two. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on that push to 10K subs on YouTube. I appreciate you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. It's Jeff out. Bye.